Hello, hello, my dear Scorpios. This is your horoscope for January 2024. I'm really sorry that I'm a little bit late. Uh, but anyhow, I felt the need to tell you how January is amazing month and uh, you that you need to use it for sure it's a stellar month and um, don't forget to check your uh, rising sign and moon sign as well because you know those three our sun sign rising and moon sign they give us fuller picture of the month uh, ahead and you know some people are born at night so that might mean that their moon is much stronger in their chart um, and th throughout the life it might influence and bring situation um, according to their moon uh, situations and who are born around you know right before the sunrise or around that time uh, their ascendant meaning rising sign or uh, also might be let's say much influential but anyhow all our three are very important and uh, I really advise you to go for all three and listen uh, to them so that you will get the fuller picture of the month. Okay, let's start. Um, 4th of January, Mars, your ancient ruler, my dear Scorpios, moved into your third house. So third house is the house of communication, my dear Scorpios. So most probably your January, your new year, 2024, started with a lot of communications, a lot of letters, messages, emails, you know, Mars is the planet of action. It's our planet of engine. This is our motivation. This is, it shows where we put all the action. And um, Coming to your uh, third house, it's bringing all sorts of communication, also all the papers, you know, that you've been planning to sign, they will be coming to your way as well. Contractual agreements, or if it's not about that, then maybe, you know, uh, it might have been that your brother or sister, um, you know, already announced the news about uh, um, that they are, let's say, uh, traveling to you and coming to see you paying a visit or and somehow becoming active in your life um, or if it's not about your siblings then uh, it might be about you know third house is the house of uh, um, short distance travels maybe there there were like right after the new year you started a work where you know and you've somehow needed to travel uh, back and forth between the different, let's say, cities that are not far or even countries. Um, or if it's not about this, then, you know, if all this does not resonate with you, then it might be that you, you right after the new year, you started a new training, you know, to acquire some new skills. Let's say those skills are like specific skills, some certificate, like let's say in cybersecurity or in, um, you know, drawing, some kind of specific skills. You might have been already in the training, you, you know, already now, uh, and you started your um, education. January uh, 11th, new moon is again in your third house you know this third house throughout whole january will be very important for you my dear scorpios um you'll understand why i'm saying this after i tell you all, all about january and um here new moon appearing in your third house you know new moons are all about new beginnings new uh stories in your life you know something new is starting in your third house and again third house is about you know, it's about contractual agreement. Maybe there is a contract to sign for you that you've been waiting and this will come to you. Um, a lot of signing papers, you know, and or it is actually that, yes, maybe your siblings uh, or a sibling, brother or sister, uh, they will tell you that they will visit you or even stay with you for let's say quite a long time because new moons unfold their stories um from you know three to six months actually <laughs> or um you know something new is happening in their life your siblings life maybe maybe they are getting married they will tell you about this all about this or they are getting a you know they're having a baby let's say they're gonna be parents um or maybe if it's not about your siblings then uh you know you moved somewhere let's say new and around this time you're gonna you know you've met your neighbors or uh let's say they've moved in to your building if you are like a student maybe you've got a new um uh neighbor 
or in general, if you live somewhere in some kind of a building, then story building, maybe you've got new neighbors around this new moon. This new moon will be beautifully supported by Uranus. This planet is all about surprises. I love this planet. It brings all kinds of surprises, you know, but you never know what kind of surprise it will uh, gonna bring to you. So uh, this new moon was supported by Uranus and which was actually situated uh, in your seventh house. So it might be that you will hear some news about your sweetheart or ex-partners as well, or ex-lover, uh, or about your business partner as well. Maybe you, you're going to hear some news about them because new moons deliver their news around five plus days. So uh, be prepared also Maybe you're going to, you know, uh, travel somewhere very near uh, around this new moon uh, because it also might be that um, uh, around this new moon, maybe you're going to buy a car or a bicycle or a motorcycle. Uh, new trans transportation in your life will appear <laughs> and, you know, it will be possible for you to travel somewhere near by that car. Um, or it might be that let's say your sweetheart, because of your, let's say spouse or business partners, you will have to learn something like uh, language or new skills. On January 12th, this is amazing day. Dear Scorpios, note this day. Uh, on this day, Mars uh, and Saturn, they will make a beautiful contact with Jupiter, planet of fortune, planet of luck and happiness. And, uh, Mars being planet of action and Saturn being planet of discipline and taking responsibilities. You know, this day in general, 12 of January, very good day to sign contracts, to make agreements. And most probably you will be actually doing so, or it might be, you know, related to a planning baby with your spouse or partner as well, because Saturn in the fifth house, you know, indicating some uh, taking responsibilities. Fifth house is all, all about kids. And it might be that you will be planning a baby with your uh, partner and going to see a doctor, you know, for these matters, uh, finding a specialist around these matters. Or it also might be that, um, um, and if you make that decision, you know, to sign a contract and about the babies or business to start, also fifth house is the house of business, opening the business, uh, then those things will stand the you know, test of time because Saturn will make sure that it will be long lasting. Uh, January 14th, Mercury moves into your third house. You see how this third house is packed, is going to be packed with energy, you know, during whole January. And Mercury is, you know, the planet of communication. It's a little postman of our universe. <laughs> so it delivers uh, news and it's coming, joining all others in your third house, bringing, and you know, Mercury rules third house. So uh, it brings all sorts of news and even more. And I feel like you will be all in papers, you know, some, some, somehow like sorting out some documents, applications, signing papers, gathering some documents, filing some documents, or you might get, you know, um, also there is a possibility that you might get an invitation to give a speech, let's say, or to start a podcast or, or to be a guest let's say on the radio station or on a TV show, your, uh, or if it's not about that, then your siblings or relatives might bring news of they are big like um, happenings in their life, events that are happening in their life. And you will be quite amazed by those events. Might be that you are uh, buying a car also uh, and the documents are ready on that car, let's say, or exchanging your car. Um, and, uh, you know, or choosing maybe a car from a lot of choices, let's say some in some journal, uh, or maybe you will be like actually scrolling the list <laughs> of the cars that you actually wish to buy, or you will be just in general, quite busy, um, let's say with skills, certificate, education, uh, third house is also about skills. Maybe you will be upgrading your skills or you will get the news that you are enrolled in some kind of courses. Um, January 20th, Sun, 
the light of this universe, you know, the source of our life moves uh, into your fourth house, house of family, house of real estate. And the next day, January 21st, Pluto, the great transformator, you know, it's your ruler, dear Scorpios, uh, planet of change and planet of big money <laughs> moves, follows the sun into your fourth house. But Pluto will stay here for 20 years, my dear Scorpios. Yes, it's not a joke for 20 years until 2044. Uh, but sun will just stay a month bringing your attention to family matters you know, turning, turning your attention to family matters or a real estate, or let's say, if you are working in real estate industry, then you will get quite busy. Uh, fourth house is also about uh, your, you know, process of immigration, citizenship, visa, or uh, all sorts of documents that are related to immigration, like um, the residence permits. Mm, you will you know, you will get busy about uh, those documents as well. Um, and here, you know, with Pluto, your ruler coming to your fourth house for 20 years, if you are, if you're going to buy a house, let's say, <laughs> it, most probably it will be as long as for 20 years, you're going to stay in that house, you know, you're going to live there. Or if you start like um, uh, your career in real estate, then it might be as long as for 20 years as well. Or if you immigrate somewhere, then you there is a chance you will stay there as well for that long period uh, while Pluto is in your fourth house. 23rd of January, Venus, planet of love, beauty, and money, uh, will move into your third house. Again, third house, my dear Scorpios, you see Venus is joining all other planets, all other energies, topping up it with the beauty and with happiness, and with love, you know, uh, it's a planet of love, making all your purchases, you know, beautiful. And if you've been like, mm, in the process of buying a car this month, then for sure, you will have a very beautiful car. And it might even bring with itself money to help you to make that purchase, uh, a little money that will help, you know, also all the communication that you've been doing, all sorts of communications, writings, you know, um, readings will be very smooth. Um, January 25th, full moon of this month appears in your 10th house. This, you know, full moons, they bring uh, some sort of, they deliver last, um, uh, they deliver us to the last point, like a closing chapter, like a closing story. So they deliver results, they deliver some sort of conclusions, and closures and appearing in your 10th house, you know, uh, it might bring you a title, a job offer that actually will be, uh, you know, with power and influence that will come with um, quite like powerful position um, because that full moon will, con will be conjunct with Pluto, your ruler from your fourth house. So Pluto, you know, is the planet of big money, is the planet of influence and authority. And here, this full moon uh, might bring you that kind of job with a lot of responsibilities, but at the same time, very influential and powerful and with a hefty salary. Or it might be about, you know, if it's not about your job or if it's not about your career, then it might be about your parenthood or marriage status as well. So 10th house is all about uh, social statuses. So here, you might decide, decide to get married or, uh, and if you do so, then that marriage will last long, <laughs> uh, which is great. And, um, and about parenthood, you will come to some um, kind of, um, you know, thought, conclusion, uh, how to go with this topic in your life. On 27th January, Uranus goes direct. Uranus is the planet of surprises. Uh, and it was retrograding, meaning moving backwards, slower, uh, meaning, you know, a little bit delaying things, surprises, let's say. Life got a bit dull <laughs> in the area of uh, where it is situated in your chart. So now on 27th of January, uh, Uranus mm, will start moving in a direct motion in your seventh house. So seventh house is, you know, house of 
love partnerships, your steady sweethearts, your spouse, uh, your business partners as well. It's, um, you know, uh, Uranus will, will bring to your seventh house more, bringing more positive energy into your relationship with your uh, husband or wife or a long-term partner. Or uh, also, you know, it might bring back that spark of surprises, let's say, from each other that spark between you and your spouse and sweetheart. 28th of January, and this is another amazing day. Actually, 28 and 29 is packed with this um, influence that will be happening on the sky from the planets. And those days are amazing for any kinds of beginnings. Uh, Venus will make beautiful contact with Jupiter and Jupiter will make contact with Saturn. These three planets will you know, form a triangle, very positive energy. And uh, here, you know, situation with kids, regarding kids, doesn't matter if you have them or you don't, it means if you've been planning or in general, kids in your life, you know, will go very well, extremely well. This situation might be, uh, you know, resolving very well. Or um, it's very good also to start business um, around this date if you are doing so and it seems like you will be doing so uh you will find the right partners uh you will be very lucky on that term uh and if there will be some contracts to sign contractual agreements also amazing days to sign 28 and 29 so this was your horoscope for january my dear scorpios and it's an amazing month so start everything right in january and i wish you the best month <laughs> tell me all about it in comments i would appreciate it so see you in february bye